Just because you're diabetic doesn't mean you can't have delicious, great tasting food. And I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Curtis Akins, and as you may know, I'm a diabetic. And there are two myths we're going to tackle today. Now, the first myth is that diabetics can't have carbohydrates. Yes, they can. But you got to be careful how many you take in. The second myth is that diabetics can't eat fried foods. Well, I'm a southern boy and I love fried food, especially mama's fried chicken. So why don't we make some of mama's fried chicken today? Now, the key is portion control. What's a portion, you say? About the size of your palm. Okay? Remember that, that's an easy little visual. I want you to take a look at something. Now follow me down here. You see this piece of chicken breast? Most restaurants, they call that a portion. About three to four ounces is a portion, okay? Now let me show you how to take this one breast and make three portions out of it, okay? Here we go. Now, I'm gonna take and cut it right in half, like so, and take a look at that. Now if the portions seem too large for you, you can always cut them down. Now that looks like a nice little portion, probably about three and a half to four ounces the size of my palm. Isn't that beautiful? Now this piece on the ha other hand, let's, it's about the size of my palm, but look how thick it is. So what I'm going to do is just butterfly that, okay? Butterfly means to slice it through the middle, okay? You can take and slice that. Remember, all these tricks of the trade that the chefs know, oh, we're going to teach you right here. Remember the fried food myth. The key is measuring. You don't have to deep fry it. I'm going to pan fry this with about three tablespoons of peanut oil. And I'm using peanut oil today. Why? Because peanut oil not only has an incredible flavor, but it has a very high smoking point. In other words, you can cook hot, at a high, hot temperature, okay? I've got a little flour and some herbs in here. I've got some dry uh, uh, tarragon, some rosemary, uh, rosemary chicken, and that sound good? And I've got some oregano in this little bag. No salt. Why? Because diabetics, we don't need a whole lot of salt in our body because of that friction that salt causes in the bloodstream. But ask your doctor about that. I'm not a doctor, and I don't play one on television. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I've got an egg white, not the egg yolk. I've whipped it up, aerated it, and I'm gonna add my chicken, just kinda coat my chicken into that, into that egg white. Just kinda get everything in there and turn it over, my, my chicken portions, right? Then, we're gonna take and drop that into our flour because the oil is getting nice and hot. This is not a big heavy duty coating, okay? What we're doing here is layer and flavor. Got a little egg white, no yolk, okay? Just the egg white, right? And I've got my uh, flour with the different uh, herbs, okay? If you wanted to add some curry, whatever you like, you can add to this. We're gonna drop them in, okay? Two pieces. Gonna shake that up just a little bit. There's a little air in that baggie. There, shake it up. Then we're gonna add the other pieces, right? Just make sure everything gets nice and dusted, okay? So easy, look at that, doesn't that look good? Now, the reason we use a peanut oil, do you remember? Nice, high smoking point. It cooks our chicken quickly and the, and the meat doesn't absorb that fat, okay? That's a good point I want you to remember, okay? Now let me show you this dusting of flour. Look how that egg white just holds, isn't that gorgeous? So we're not deep frying, we're pan frying. Fried chicken, not a whole lot of salt. In fact, no salt. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, I wish we had smell of vision mm. <laughs> Myth number two, pasta. Diabetics can have pasta. Again, I'm one of those knuckleheads that love pasta, okay? But remember, it's about portion control. Is that a portion? No. Is that a portion? No. That's a portion, right? That palm is a portion, okay? You want it to taste good. And if we're cutting out on the salt, cutting down on other, how do you do that? Well, I like to talk about layering flavors. Today with my pasta, I'm gonna serve onions. One, two, three, four different onions and tomato over my pasta. So wait. Remember, it's important to measure one, two tablespoons of oil in a non-stick surface. Non-stick is, is a great, great utensil for those of us who are trying to cut down the amount of fat that we cook with, okay? You gotta have fat, okay? Just like carbohydrates, the body needs fat. And let's, let's face it, 
fat has flavor. But too much fat is not a good thing. Onions, when you slice them thinly, that helps to release the flavor. Thick, thick pieces of onion takes longer to cook as well. Uh, let's take a look at our pasta sauce, how it's coming along. Oh, the uh, onions, tomatoes are really bad. Look at all the juices in there. Now, we're just about ready to add our pasta and the green onions. Add the green onions late because they don't take as long to cook, okay? So I'm just gonna put those right in there, okay? Stir it just a little bit because we want that spring green onion, that scallion flavor. Now look at that, oh! So I'm gonna make kind of an opening in the middle to add our pasta. Okay, I've got my plate divvied up there. There's my pasta. That's about a portion right. And I'm gonna add my chicken, fried chicken, right here. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm gonna serve that up. And what do you think? Does that look good? What a gorgeous meal, right? Carbohydrates, uh, fried food, bust those myths. It's a great meal, healthy meal for diabetic or not, just good food.